Hey everyone, Tony George, Monday update, all things NBA, DocSports.com, talking about the NBA playoffs today, and then we'll tell you what's going on over at the website. Uh, the NBA today, we're taking a total pass on, um, and we're on a 5-1-1 one one run in the playoffs here, cash with New York yesterday, and of course, those of you who followed me on Twitter, I told you the Knicks plus 185 was the best futures bet on the board, put it up on Twitter for you. Put a futures bet up on the PGA Tour for you. And a couple of head-to-heads here the last couple of weeks, all cashed. At T. George Sports, go follow me. That being said, neither one of these games interests me today. Um, especially the first game. Because we don't know who's playing. Which is a common theme in the NBA. And one that irritates me. I'm in a pissy mood already. I did not add a hit and miss uh, Sunday and... And... Uh, I'm in a pissy mood. So, you know, I just tell it like it is. I always tell you like it is right here on these videos. Uh, don't know if the Greek Freak's playing. Probably will. They need the win. You've got a team that just got beat by 22 points less than 48 hours ago laying seven. And that's because the roster for uh, the Miami Heat is littered with injuries and doubtfuls and questionables, including, you know, Oladipo's out now, another knee injury. Guys just can't stay healthy. Jimmy Butler, questionable. You know, you got a, two or three other key players, questionable. You know, so, it's, to me, now, it may be over here at this website, or another one that you go to. You shouldn't be. You should be just going to that one. Somebody might have a game of the year in this game for all I know. I don't. It, In my opinion. And I've been doing this 32 years. I don't see any value in it. I'm not laying seven with the team you get beat by 22. On the road in the postseason. Especially. If Giannis doesn't play or has limited minutes, you know, they put the onus on Middleton last game. He couldn't even break 20 points. Just saying, I don't see any value in it. And that's the one thing about it. Somebody wants to put action on games like this. You watch these videos. Here's the thing. If, if you are 25 or $50 better and want to throw it up against the wall and see if it sticks, I mean, it's nothing more than a bar tab, you know. That's okay, but I can't do that. Not with hundreds of clients and a couple thousand people or more watching these videos every day expecting me to give them winners. They expect me to win every pick I put out on these videos. And if I don't, I'm the lowest common denominator human filth. You know, I can win 12 in a row and I lose one and they're screaming from the rafters. He's a, he's a no good SOB. I get it. I'm a big boy. That's part of the territory. That's the way this, that's the way it works. You know, uh, you know, long-term guys know better. Short-term guys don't know any better. That's okay. But I don't see any value in the first game. The second game has some interesting slants to it. Memphis just, you know, and I said this yesterday, and then we end up losing a free play. But Memphis just doesn't match up well against L.A. without any, you know, low post, in the paint type presence. If, you, if you're looking at, you know, player props and rebounds, James and Davis are just having their way inside. FYI hint. Davis having over 13 and a half rebounds, probably a pretty good prop here. I don't know what the number is. Probably 120, 115. Might be worth a sniff tonight. He seems motivated to play. He seems healthy. You know, which is one thing about Anthony Davis. You never know. The wind blows, he gets hurt. But right now, you know, I, he's dominating down low. They have no answer for him. And here's an interesting stat. The last 23 road games that the Memphis Grizzlies have been a dog in, an underdog, they're 0-23 straight up. They're a four-and-a-half-point road dog tonight. 
out of the last 16 games they were road dogs in, and they obviously lost them all, they're 2-14 and 14 against the spread. Now, the last game, it was doubtful that John Morant was going to play. Here's the typical NBA Russian propaganda. You, you can't trust any news coming out of the NBA, especially when it comes to an injury report or who's going to play, which makes it difficult to do my job since we put plays out at 9.30 a.m. Pacific. We re have to release all of our plays in the NBA. Well, it's usually not till 2 o'clock Pacific till I know who's even playing. But last game, didn't know if he's going to play. No solid information. He plays as 45. Problem is, they don't have any balance on their offense. You know, and I think James and Davis are playing at a peak level. Obviously, LeBron James is one of the best players in the history of the NBA. Scored more points than anybody. I don't care whether you love him or he's like Tom Brady. He's a polarizing figure. You either love him or you hate him, and there's no in-between. Uh, but I'll tell you, even if you hate him, guy can ball. About as good as anybody around when he wants to. Davis is no slouch, and their role players are stepping up. Lakers, very small. Lay the four and a half. That's your free play. Over at the website today, we have a triple header in Major League Baseball. Yesterday, we lost a top pick on the New York Mets. Bottom of the eighth. Gave it up. Mm. So, seven and two our last six days in Major League Baseball. But one of those losses happened to be a top pick. So that's the one I'm judged on. But we have a triple header today. We're going to sweep it. Three units each, flat bet across the board. That means equal amounts of money on every pick. Go 2-1, and one, you win. Go 3-0, and oh, everybody's happy. And we get all our units back plus some, which is the goal. Uh, NBA, we're passing. NBA player prop, boom. In the very game we just talked about. NHL, two-pack today as well. Uh, NASCAR yesterday, uh, the big one at Talladega, um, vaulted William Byron out of nowhere who couldn't get his car up front to save his life because he doesn't run super speedways well. Well, he got bumped up there over Hamlin. That hurt me big time. So and Hamlin got knocked back. So... Big wreck affected us. Sometimes you know, One thing about Talladega, you need to get a little bit lucky, especially at the end of the race. So, nonetheless, uh, not happy with my NASCAR. We went one and two yesterday. Uh, we will fire back uh, this upcoming weekend in NASCAR and get that back. And uh, I wish you a very successful and very profitable Monday. Be sure and get over to DocSports.com. Take advantage of the three sixty dollars we give you in the link in the description below. And, of course, sign up for the thumbs up, subscribe, get the notifications. So when me or any other handicapper at DocSports.com puts out a free play, you're here for free plays, right? You get notified there's another free pick waiting for you. Come on.